Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm just gonna be doing this like chit chat, get ready with me. I already have my brows done because our lawn was getting mowed outside, so I've just kind of been waiting. Figured I'd do my brows. There's nothing new with the way that I do them or what products I use. So for this video, I'm not really gonna be going into like tutorial style and maybe like saying everything I'm doing and how I'm doing it and blah 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 whatever um I just kind of wanted to talk with you guys I haven't really made a video in a while I mean I have but nothing where I've been talking and like so much in my life has changed so I just kind of wanted to talk with you guys I'm using the Urban Decay Quick Fix which I have and I've never used um I don't know if I have used it. I don't think so. Or if I have, it was just like playing around with it. So I'm gonna use this. I usually use the Smashbox Primer Water. So this is like a prep priming spray. And then I'm also gonna be using the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. So I recently picked this up um, during the VIB sale at Sephora. And this is gonna be like my third time using it. I like it so far and it makes my makeup wear so, so good. Like, I just, I've been using my same makeup routine on top of it and I can tell that it wears longer and I'm pretty sure it's the primer because that's the only thing that's changed. Let's do foundation. I'm gonna be taking the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Foundation and I've used this on my channel before. Um, but I think it's been a while and I haven't really been using this foundation because I do have like a lighter shade and I had a tan, but my tans like wore off really, really fast. So now this matches me perfectly again. So I'm going to use this first, actually before I cover this, you can kind of see a little here. It's actually worse on the side and I already covered, but one reason i haven't been making videos or like how my last two videos were just eye makeup is because i have been getting hair removal on my face so i only did one so far i got electrolysis done on like my whole face like right here but well i didn't i wanted to get it all done here but we just did this little area and the reason i didn't really want to film is because the after reaction after getting that is like rough so i have a, a lot of discoloration from it and i also had like so many large bumps where i got it done and it honestly was like one of those things that just looks looked better without having makeup on i'm just gonna take my concealer i'm using the catrice liquid camouflage high coverage concealer in the shade light beige i haven't used this in a while and i don't even remember if i liked it but like what i was talking about before is makeup made it look even worse you know like i just felt like when i had makeup on top of it it just made it look like <laughs> you just see him jump up there let me get it to look at say hi to the camera this is what he does he goes under the blanket and pushes all my pillows Okay, bye. So now I'm going to try laser again, which I've done in the past and it didn't really work and I've had bad experiences. I'm really hoping that this time it works. If you guys don't know what they are, so laser, you can't have like any tan and it's not permanent. You need to like continue getting, res um, getting treatments done. But you, like the after effects are pretty minimal. You just have like maybe a few little tiny bumps and they go away in about a day. It's nothing serious. And with laser, you don't have to grow your hair out. You actually need like to be perfectly shaven. But with electrolysis, it sucks because you have to grow the hair out but it pulls out each individual hair um the results are a little bit more permanent but the after look 
like I just explained, is a little bit more to deal with. It's hard to like grow since I'm getting it done on my face. It's really embarrassing and hard to grow the hair out. And also um, the aftercare is just, or the, I don't even know what it's called, like the after symptoms, af whatever, after effects, they just kind of suck. So hopefully the laser goes out, but that's why I haven't made any videos because I had either I was growing the hair out or then I had those after effects and I just didn't like how my skin looked. I didn't want to be on camera. I didn't want to put makeup on, all of that. I'm taking the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contour Stick. Um, I haven't used this in a long time, but I really like the Smashbox one. So I want to see if I like this one the same now. I want to use this. This is the Makeup Revolution liquid highlighter drops in champagne and I bought this forever ago and I don't know why I've never used it. I do this all the time. I buy so many things and then I put them in my drawer and I don't use them. So I'm gonna try to not do that anymore and use this. So I don't know how people do this. I'm just gonna put a dot here and then this. Does that go? It works? I don't know. Um, I don't like that. It left like a little mark. I'm just gonna stop playing with that. I'm taking some more Mercier translucent powder. Another thing I wanted to talk about, and especially because you guys are gonna see like this in the video, is I got a new job and I kind of wanted to talk about it and also let you guys know a little bit of what happened with my old job. So if you guys don't know, I used to work at Ulta and I was a prestige beauty advisor there. I worked there for a little over a year. So I left in the beginning of summer and there's a lot really that happened. And I know like one of my most asked things is like to make a story time video on why I quit Ulta. So I really want to make that video, but the reason I've been kind of putting it off is because I needed to find a new job for it first. And I didn't want that video affecting me getting a new job just because it's um, not going to be the nicest video. I mean, I'm not going to say anyone's names or anything like that, but like I had a really bad experience. It was one of those things that like I honestly like still cannot believe like all of the things that happened. It's just like... I, I literally can't believe it. It shocks me that these things really happened like to me. Now, I have a new job and I'm still kind of hesitant to make this video. Let me just tell you what my new job is. We kind of gotta go like back and forth so you guys, so I can explain, you know, everything. My new job is a freelancer with different makeup brands. So basically what freelancers do is they are an independent contractor with different companies and you can work for multiple at a time. It just depends on your contract with them. You basically go into different stores. It could be Ulta, Sephora, um, department stores, and you are just sales support and makeup artist for that brand. Right now I am just working with Laura Geller and I have a few other ones that I might be working with soon. I'm just trying to gain as many hours as I can because it's nice you get to make your own schedule kind of as long as you're making the sales and the sales goals. They are honestly so amazing and not hyped up enough and I'm not just saying that because I work for them. Um, I really love the brand. I think that all the, not all of their products, but I think that their products are great and I'm really happy to be working with them. I love my boss. Her name's Katie. She's literally amazing. She's one of the like sweetest down to earth people like I've ever met and I am just so, so grateful from like everything I went through at Ulta that I have a boss like her and like someone that wants to fight for me and help me grow and be there for me and really like not be a manager but be 
a leader and a friend and a mentor and I love that and like I feel like I'm getting emotional right now because like I just was so like denied that for such a long time with Ulta. Back to like my why I quit Ulta video real quick uh let me bronze I'm gonna be using the Laura Geller Baked Bronze in Brighton in Medium. This is one of my favorite bronzers. I don't like that Makeup Revolution thing. It left like blotchiness right here and it doesn't look good. I will be work not going into the store that I used to work at, but other stores in the same district. And the reason that I'm still hesitant to make this video is because I and now working with people that are associated with the management from my old store. I just don't really want to have any drama or problems or if anything like because I am still trying to find other brands to work with if I have to go into that store I just don't want any drama or anything holding me back or like biting me in the butt for doing it. So I am not going to be making that video right now, but I definitely still will make the video once I am not going to be associated with anyone or any store that is also associated with them, if that makes sense. I just think that is the best thing for everyone. I don't want me to have any drama or problems. I don't want Katie, my boss, to have any problems because I put this video out. As of now though, what I will let you guys know is that the biggest reason, and I was kind of thinking about this today before I sat down to film because I was trying to think of like how I wanted to say this, but the main reason, and this is really what it comes down to, is that Alta and my managers there were never going to be able to give me the growth and the career and the opportunities that I need and that I want for my future. That's really what it comes down to because it doesn't matter, like all of the small things, the, the pettiness and the drama and the things that I went through at that store, even if they didn't happen, I wouldn't be able to grow with them. They don't have many growth opportunities and I would not be able to do, I was not, I, it's not that I wouldn't, I wasn't able to do what I loved with them. So despite all of the other stuff, no matter what, that was just not going to be the route for me. Not wanting to be a makeup artist or anything like that. Alta is retail. Alta is not a makeup store. They are not um, like guest oriented. It isn't that type of experience. Their focus is retail and that's not my focus. And that's why I'm very, very grateful for the job that I have now because I'm like getting soft. <laughs> I need to get ready. I'm gonna put blush on, I'm using this tart one. Um, and that's why I'm so grateful for the job that I have now because that is my only focus. I guess for now, till I make that video, if any of you guys are interested in working in Ulta, I'm not saying don't work there, but what I think everyone should know going in there, it is not going to be a makeup oriented job. There are other job opportunities that you will, you can get from having Ulta experience like myself, but I already have a year of Ulta experience and built relationships with vendor. That's how I got my job. I knew Katie from coming into my store. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Um, I think I said enough. Other than that, and I don't think it's every Ulta store. I really think it's, I know it's not just mine. Trust me, I've watched plenty of YouTube videos. Um, but not every Ulta store is bad. So don't let what I say scare you from working at Ulta. Just don't go in there with high expectations. Just take it for what it is. Learn, 
If you want to grow, you need to just be willing to teach yourself. Try to get involved in as many things as you can and learn as many things as you can from the experience. That is what I'm grateful for, even though I didn't have a good experience there. I have learned so many things. I learned so much like behind the scenes stuff with Ulta that I really had no idea about before. And that is really what I'm grateful for because I wouldn't have been able to learn or really understand any of those things without my experience there. I don't wanna go into too much detail because I feel like the more I talk about it, like the more things I have to go back and explain. And then this just turns into the video that I don't wanna make right now. But I do love my new job right now. It's so fun. And just being able to do my own thing and I feel respected, I feel great. Like I, it, it was really something like tearing me down, like working there and then just being unemployed and I think I feel like I'm finally getting back on my feet. Hey, hi, video. Hi, YouTube. Oh my. So I wanted to do like a really kind of fall look today. Pretty cold outside. So the palette I decided to use today is the Violet Boss Nicole Concilia palette. Okay, so this shade Palm Tree just like look at it live for this shade so i wanted to use this i saw the new too faced tutti frutti collection the one palette like the neutral palette that they have or whatever has a shade that looks just like this one in it, but i don't want to buy the whole palette because i didn't need any of the other colors in it and the one like gold shade in that palette was horrible like it was very gritty it I didn't want it <laughs> um, and I don't want to pay that much for just having the one shade so I was like okay I'm gonna find this shade in a single somewhere or something so I have that in the back of my head is that I needed to find this shade then I have this liner this like really pretty turquoise liner that I wanted to use so I was trying to find a like turquoise shade to go with it and I knew that this palette had like a blue. I didn't know if it was like a blue or a turquoise and I opened it and then I saw the palm tree shade and I was like, oh wait, that is the other shade that I've been looking for. So now I don't know what I'm doing. All I know is I want to use that shade. Let's get started. I'm going to take Hangry and just blend that in here. I need Netflix recommendations. Or Hulu. I have Hulu and I don't know what to watch on it. <laughs> but I am a huge binge watcher. I love, love watching TV shows or even movies. Like, I love watching movies, but I can never find good movies on Netflix. I'm gonna take, I'm taking this shade Bop Bop down here. Like, I just finished Orange is the New Black. Um, which I loved and I don't even want to talk about it because the ending of the last season just pissed me off so bad like it made like my blood boil I was so mad about it so yeah can't wait for that next season like I can't believe they just ended it like that if you watched it you know what I'm talking about and you know I am so mad about it now I'm watching Gossip Girl so I've never watched Gossip Girl before I was a one tree hill person um so I'm watching Gossip Girl I'm like over halfway done with the second season and I actually I really like it so far I mean it's kind of cheesy but I know like all of these shows from like the early 2000s like the first few seasons are really cheesy even some shows now like the earlier seasons of shows you can't judge on because they're usually cheesy i love this shade it's so different it's like a i don't know it's like a pukey it's like throw up which is like why do you want to use that color in your eyes but it's so perfect for an eyeshadow shade like that palm tree shade oh my god look how pretty that is this is so pigmented and i didn't even spray my brush like wow i highly 
recommend this palette. I am so impressed right now. So I'm using the Pure Lashes in Bombshell. These are on sale for 21 days right now from Ulta for only $8. Oh my god, mine just ripped apart. Never mind, I'm not using these. I'm returning them. I've not had that happen to me before. Literally, it just like, it literally just like fell apart. I'm using the Violet Boss Lashes in Fiamtress. I'm also gonna, I said that's so weird. I'm also gonna use the Teal Liner. This is Teal Waters Gel Eyeliner from Laura Geller. Use it on my lower lash line. Ooh, that looks so pretty. Oh, my lash glue is still drying. I'm gonna put my lips on. I'm using the Kylie Lip Liner and Exposed. Okay, ooh, I almost forgot highlighter. I'm using the Smashbox Spotlight Pearl Palette. I wanted to use this because it's also on sale for like the whole 21 days. And that way you guys can kind of see what it looks like. I'm gonna take the middle shade here. Look how pretty that is. Ooh. So blinding. I wasn't recording. So for lips, I just put on the Sephora lipstick in somewhere in Spain. It's like this nice nude. So this is the completed look, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below if you guys liked this kind of video where I'm just kind of chit-chatting through it instead of doing like a full-on tutorial. Other than that, I just wanted to say thank you guys for subscribing to me and being patient. I know I'm not very consistent and I'm really trying hard to be but it's it's just a lot. I've just kind of been in this weird slump where I have no idea what I'm doing and when I'm like this I just don't feel like doing anything like I get so so lazy and I'm really trying to get myself out of that but it happens I mean it does and I just kind of need to push through it and it's also kind of hard for me because I don't really have like any really friends <laughs> honestly I don't I just have my boyfriend and my family and I mean I have a few friends but we don't really do anything so sometimes I get so focused on that where I'm like I don't want to film a video and do my makeup because I have nothing to do so why am I gonna waste my time but I need to get out of that because it doesn't matter and yeah so just please be patient with me hopefully this kind of cleared some stuff up so you guys kind of understand where I'm coming from and what's going on with my life and yeah so that's all I again I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you guys next time bye